It's Lynn Hardman again, this time with an introduction to line dancing, brought to you again by Community Access Yellow Springs TV Channel 5, or you can view it on YouTube, and the Yellow Springs Senior Center. This was meant to be a class on Mondays at the Senior Center, but we never got started due to the coronavirus, and so I hope you are still sheltering safely at home it's a long time and it's a struggle, but it's working. We are saving lives together. We are crushing that coronavirus curve and we've got to continue. So let's stay healthy, stay happy at home. I hope you like this activity. Dancing is a great exercise for your body and your mind and probably your spirit as well. So here's a few tips for success when you're doing line dancing. Whether you're dancing as if no one's watching you there at home <laughs> or in a club when we are finally able to safely get together and dance. Looking forward to that. Anyway, here's some tips. When you don't know a line dance, it will change walls or directions. So the best place to learn is from the middle. If you try to hide in the back, all of a sudden you'll be in the front and that won't help. Also, take small steps for success and so you don't bump into your neighbors and get your feet all crossed up. When in doubt, march it out. Sometimes we have to cross our legs for a grapevine or a weave. And um, when you're not sure, just walk and alter the angle of your body. And when you're pivoting, as we will when we change walls, you want to unload the knee. Here's what I mean by that. With when you're Weight is on one leg. You want to come up to the ball of the foot. Just put a little weight there as you pivot around carefully. And as I said, when in doubt, you can just march it out to turn. So, um, let's get going. I have five dances for us to work on today. Don't worry if you don't get it. And you can always take a break and get a sip of water whenever you want. You'll be learning and having fun just watching, I'm sure. You could even dance in your chair. Ha <laughs> Anyway, these all five dances are about love. Love will see us through this thing. We just have to soldier on, okay? The first dance is so easy and so popular, you might already know it. Um, next to the electric slide and the wobble, it might be the most often danced line dance. Cupid Shuffle. Cupid's going to draw back his bow, and where it goes, we'll find out with the other dances. This one's so simple. I'm not even going to teach you. I'm going to throw you right onto the dance floor, and we're going to do it together. Let's put on our music. This was a 2007 pop hit recorded by Cupid. And it's simple. It's a 32 four wall count dance. First eight is to your right. Second eight is to your left. Third set is kicking. And the fourth set is marching and turning to the left. 
with your arms or your legs or your hips or your feet. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, bind right. One, two, three, four, five, six, quarter turn, and a slow V step finishes it off. Now, I'm going to add some arms. It'll look like this, but I'm going to turn right back because that way you can learn it. Right is right, left is left. When we do that uh, hip bump, step, hip, step, hip, if you like, here's the arms. It'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cheeky. If you don't get the arms, just do the feet. Feet first, that's all that matters. A good foundation is a solid building, something to build on. Let's go. You ready? Ready or not, it's time for some Burning Love by Elvis Presley. This was a hit in 72, 1972. So, 
I'll teach it to you as if we're holding hands, all right? It's a um, great disco tune, fun at weddings, fun at reunions. We are family. I want to dedicate this one to a very important person in my family. The song's by Sister Sledge. And this one's for my sister, Kathy. She has been battling a couple of big things this past year. She kicked breast cancer's butt, and now as a nurse, she's kicking that COVID virus's butt too. Anyway, this is you. Um, it's a, the first 16 counts, the first two sets of eight, are super simple if you keep it that way. Remember, small steps for success, and we don't cross our feet over. It's simply a walk to the right, tap, walk to the left, tap, walk back, tap, walk forward, tap, all holding hands. So let's pretend we've got our sister on our right and our sister on our left, or maybe our brother or our aunt or our grandma or whoever, niece, nephew, Wait to our left, and we're going to take a small walk to the right, not a great line, don't cross your feet. It sounds and looks like this, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, tap, five, six, seven, eight. The next eight is back and forth, same dealio. Five, six, seven, eight. Back, two, three, tap, forward, two, three, tap. So let's put that much together. And remember, we always go back first. That's typical with disco songs. Ooh, ooh. Holding hands, heads tall, as posture, little steps. Five, six, to your right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Back, two, three, four, four, two, three, and eight. All right, you ready for the last two eight counts? Our hands are still joined with our neighbors in our row, and our weight's on the left. We're going to do a four-count step hip bump, just like we did in the Elvis song. But our hands are together, and they go up here. It's step, hip, step, hip, or a little tootsie roll there with your hips circling back a bit. And then the last set of eight is a K step or a step tap forward on the right and back on the left. And then we turn and face the left wall, our new wall, and we do the same. So that part looks like this. Five, six, seven, eight. Forward, tap, back, tap. Forward, tap, back, tap. At our new wall. Let's put it all together facing this wall so you can follow along a little easier. Remember, we have to let go when we face the new wall, otherwise we're gonna have a, a little bit of a, a traffic jam. And then, once we face our new wall, we have to find our new neighbor's hands. This is something we are going to do together. We are stronger and better together, even when it's virtually. Okay, so, from the very top, we walk forward, tap, no, I'm sorry, we walk right, tap, and then left, tap, back, tap, and then forward, tap, and then hip bumps, holding hands, and then we let go to do our K step, or our frontward tap, and then new wall, tap, and then we join hands again, facing the front. Here's what it looks like without the music. Five, six, holding hands, here we go. Right, two, three, tap, left, two, three, tap, back, two, three, tap, and four. Good, hands up, still holding hands with those hip bumps. And then we got that forward tap, letting go, and then we face the front and hold our new neighbors. So let's say we had 20 people. We have four rows of five. So five, 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 and five. And each time we turn, then we're gonna hold that what used to be a column is now our new row that we're in. Get it? If there's an odd number of people, we drag other people from the party out onto the dance floor and we put them right in the middle so they can't get away. <laughs> All right, so one more time from the top and I'm gonna face this way. So we're holding hands, five, six, to your right. 
walk, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hands up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let go, step, tap, turning left, hold your new partners, new neighbors, and start it over. It's got a really long introduction. We could do this, just keep practicing. It's great fun, and this is a great fun dance to do with a group of people. They don't have to be sisters like Sister Sledge. Here we go. There's a long introduction, so just get your groove on. Play your air guitar, or you're slapping the bass. Maybe get your disco moves on. Ooh, it's a pretty, oh, I missed it. We'll pick it up. Back, two, three, step. Good. Let go and tap. I just have too much fun. Hold it. So this is a 32 count four wall line dance. 
Um, it's got a lot of moves we already know. So let me talk you through the four eight sets, the eight count sets. Um, with my back to you, there'll be a 16 count introduction, some heavy drum beats. Hopefully I won't be having too much fun and miss <laughs> the first count. But just enjoy. Okay, so our weight is on our um, left foot. And it begins with the same exact choreography as the Elvis song. Walk forward three, kick left. Walk back three, tap right. Here it is. First set of eight counts. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, right, kick left. Left, right, left, tap right. And the second eight counts looks very similar to the Elvis song. But it's two step touches and four hip sways. Instead of four slow hip sways, it's four quicker. So here it is with the count. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Your weight's on your right. The third set of eight is a very similar to the Elvis song. A great vine to the right and a vine left with a quarter turn. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, facing our new wall. The last eight counts is where the song gets a little bit different. Weights on our left, and we're going to do a rocking chair forward and back for the first four, and a jazz box for the last four of this eight count. Here's what it looks like. Weights on your left. Five, six, seven, eight. Forward and back and cross, right over left, step back left, step together right, and then weight on your left. So let's see that eight count again. We just turned our quarter turn to the left for our new wall, and it's a rocking chair and a jazz box. Weight's on our left, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, cross, five, six, seven, step on it for eight, and then the choreography re resumes. So let's put all four sets of eight together, and we'll walk it through once, and then I want to tell you about what a tag is. Five, six, forward and kick. One, two, three, kick, back, two, three, tap, step, Tap, step, tap, five, six, seven, eight, vine to the right, tap, vine to the left, quarter turn, rocking chair, forward and back, and jazz box step on your left. So, this is a very simple dance, but there'll be two tags. In line dancing, a tag is where the choreography stops because it doesn't exactly fit the music, so we fill it in with some spacers. In this song, there are two tags. They both come when we face our first wall, the second and the third time. So that'll be right after wall number four and right after wall number eight, or whenever we face this wall on the second and third time. And here's the choreography for the tag. It'll look just like this. We'll have just finished our, our uh, rocking horse, rocking chair, sorry, rocking chair, and our jazz box. And then you'll hear Lady Gaga say, don't be a drag, just be a queen. And that's what the tag is, and it's 16 counts. It's um, the same to the left as it is to the right, weights on our left. So it's eight counts right, eight counts left, and it, uh, it looks like this, five, six, Seven, eight. One hold two. Three hold four. Five, six, seven, eight. One hold two. Three hold four. Five, six, seven, eight. So you'll hear the first tag is when she sings, Don't be a drag, don't be a queen. The second tag is when we face this wall again, and it's just before she sings that phrase again. So Let's just get in there. If you want to, you can go back and do that talking through part as much as you like. But let's get this 
music on and get going. And you know, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Have fun, take little steps, take a rest when you need. This is Lady Gaga's Born This Way from 2011. So this is our first wall. It'll be 16 counts after this drum beat you hear.
performed by many um, artists, but uh, most probably famously Frank Sinatra, 1965, I believe. It's also a 32 count four wall line dance. But how we get to that quarter turn to the um, right, this one has a quarter turn to the right, is a little convoluted. In between, there's two quarter turns or, or whole half turn. We'll just chunk it up and digest it without the music several times and then we'll do it to the music. It's a very lyrical song, so it kind of challenges our, our uh, ability to keep the rhythm and it's fun. Have fun with it. All right, so I'm going to show this one sideways because there is going to be a half turn. So if I'm facing this wall and I take a, a half turn over my left shoulder with two pivots, step, pivot, step, pivot. Now I'm facing the wall that was 180 degrees from me and that's going to happen, okay? So just so you know, this way it'll be easier to follow along if we head back and forth this way. And then when we turn our quarter turn at the end of the choreography, it's gonna be over our right shoulder so I'll face you. But we'll get there eight counts at a time. One step at a time. That's how we get there. Steps to success. Slow, steady, small, successful steps. Just like we are crushing that coronavirus. We've got to stay with it. We can do it. Okay, so lock, step, brush forward, right and left is our first set of eight counts. Here's what it looks like, small steps, okay? Weights on your left. We're going to step together, step brush with our right, and then repeat with our left. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, brush. Five, six, seven, brush. Moving forward, the next eight counts are a rocking chair, just like we did, with our right foot, and then two paddle turns to turn and face the other wall. So here's what it looks like. Our weight's on our left. We just brushed. And we're going to do five, six, seven, eight. Rock forward and back. And five, six, seven, eight. Now our weight's on our left again. And the next set. Let's put those two together. Let's put the first two sets of eight together. So from the top, weight's on the left. Step together, step brush, right and left and then a rocking chair with a paddle turn, quarter turn, quarter turn to face wall number two, which is behind us. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rocking chair, forward and back, step, pivot, step, pivot. Okay, moving on to the third set of eight. There's only four sets. This part is called a, I call it a cross front point. So our weight's on our left, our right leg is gonna cross in front, and then we're gonna open up, and then we're gonna point. So here's what it looks like we'll go to. We'll travel left, starting with our right foot, and then we'll travel right, starting with our left. Five, six, seven, eight. Cross, open, cross back, point, cross in front, open, cross back, point. I'll call that a cross front point. Um, that's kind of tricky, so let's put that together with our first two eight counts. So remember, it's a step together, step forward on the right, brush, and then the left, rocking chair, two paddle turns for a half turn, and then we'll do our cross front points, right and left, or left and right. <laughs> Weights on your left, five, six, seven, eight. Step together, step, brush, step together, step, brush, rocking chair, forward and back, step, quarter turn, step, quarter turn, cross front, open, and then cross back and tap. Now left, left in front, open right, Cross left, open. Good. 
We're almost there. Last set of eight counts. Our weight's on our left, we just pointed. Now we're gonna simplify that move and just do a cross point instead of a cross behind point. So it's step in front, tap to your left, and then do it again with your left. Step in front, tap to your right. And the last four counts are a jazz box. And we will turn over our right shoulder, just like I told you. <laughs> okay, so our weight's on the left, we're gonna perform a jazz box turning to the right, quarter turn. So it's a five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it all the way through, nice and slow, a couple times. I'll do it two full times through. You with me? All right, so weights on your left. We'll start with that step together, step brush, right and left. Then we've got our rocking chair forward and back. Our paddle turns to face that way. Then we've got our, our cross front weave point. And then we've got right and left. Then we've got a cross point, two times and a jazz box. It's a beautiful dance. We gotta challenge ourselves if we expect a little change, yeah? So here we go, from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. Step together, step, brush. Left together, step, brush. Rocking chair, forward and back. Paddle turn, paddle turn. Cross, open, weave, tap. Cross, open, weave, tap. Cross, tap, cross, tap. Jazz box, turn new wall. Right together, right brush. Left together, left brush. Rocking chair, forward and back. Pivot turn, pivot turn. Cross, open, weave, tap. Cross, open, weave, tap. Cross, tap, cross, tap. Jazz box, turning right. Step together, step right and left. Together, left brush. Rocking chair, forward and back, pivot turn, and cross, open, weave, tap, cross, open, weave, tap, cross, tap, cross, tap, jazz box, turning right. I know it's hard, but is there anything in life that, that's really worthwhile that's not a little bit difficult? Let's just do our best. All right, here it is with the music. They'll, you'll hear, it's kind of hard to hear. You'll hear a little twinkle, and then we'll get started, okay? I'm going to start facing this way. I have to listen carefully here. Stop together, stop. Stop together, stop. Rocking chair. How is her? Cross, open, tap, cross, open, tap, cross, tap, cross, tap, jazz box, turning right. In other words, rocking chair, paddle turns, cross, open, tap, and cross, open, tap, cross, tap, cross, tap, turning right, jazz box. Rocking chair. Paddle turn. Cross, open, tap. Cross, open, tap. Cross, tap. Turning right. Rocking chair. Paddle turn. Cross, tap. Cross, tap. Turning to your right. We got where we started.
today. It was great joining you. I hope you are sticking with the plan. And it, it's hard. I know it's hard. Uh, but I have a quote for you. It's by a gal named Vivian Green. I like this quote. Green spelled like Green County, where we're at. And um, she says, Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's learning to dance in the rain. And it's frustrating, but we can all learn new things. And we can wait it out. But let's do productive things. We all have things we have to offer. So um, it's a challenge, but it's going to change us for the better if we stick with the plan. Keep it safe and simple. Till next time. Bye-bye.